New this morning, as the fentanyl epidemic continues to rage in our community, we're hearing from the sister of a Benton County woman who died after an accidental overdose. News 18's Hadassah Harris spoke with Bree Roberts about how the tragedies affected her life and family and how she's planning to honor her sister. Hadassah joins us now in the studio with more from that emotional interview. Hi, Hadassah. Good morning, Joe. On August 25th of last year, Tiara Elness of Oxford died from an illicit fentanyl overdose. Today, her sister, Bree Roberts of Tippecanoe County, talked with me about the day she was told her younger sister had passed. Remembering the words overdose, dead, and coroner the most, Roberts says her mission is to raise awareness on the epidemic of illicit fentanyl and how the trauma and detriment goes beyond the user. When asked the one thing that she wanted viewers to know, she answered with erasing the stigma. She even told me how her everyday life is forever changed. I don't even know if words. I just think that it's important to like be educated and informed and not be so naive. Um, I have a nine-year-old daughter and I've already had to start having these discussions with her about we only take medicine if the doctor tells you to take it. We don't if somebody says, here, take this candy, we don't do those things. And that's been very difficult to have to have such hard conversations at such an early age. Tierra Elness's dealer, Zachary Dustin, was arrested and charged with her death the same day. Two others are also facing drug-related charges to Elness's death. Roberts has written a letter to Dustin that she will be able to read in the courtroom at his trial, which is set for the end of April in Benton County. News 18 will continue to cover the story. Reporting in studio this morning, Hadassah Harris, News 18.